Welcome to campaign week 12, I believe. Welcome, Will. Thank you very much, Jack. Week 12, and we're still in the winter, and it's we're still... still Mighty in cold. The winter. It is very, very cold, yeah. very, very windy, very, very wet. Every week when we talk about the campaign videos and what we're going to talk about, me and Will always look at each other and say, oh, it's probably um, not what somebody wants to hear while they're sitting down to watch this on a Wednesday evening or whenever you watch it. Uh, but this week we thought we would breach um, or broach some of those subjects uh, that are difficult and how we cope with it, how we deal with stuff, because Will... The stuff that we're dealing with at House of Bread, as much as we want to make everybody feel welcome and say it is a great time, and it is, and it's a lovely, lovely environment, very positive place to be, we're dealing with people who have very, very difficult, challenging lives. Yeah, they're, they're complex, and they can be frustrating, and they can be life-threatening. And I think one of the things that we wanted to try and share in these five minutes is somehow the, the rawness of it, not to take away um, the fact that we don't um, deal with individuals and try and manage them through their problems, and not to make it sound as though we deal with um, a lighter end, but actually to articulate just what the breadth of challenge is, not only to the people who who work at House of Bread, but also the people who volunteer and give their time. And those who come along. So we do deal with alcoholism, extreme end of alcoholism, as well as general addiction, drug abuse mm. and uh, people overdosing, uh, people who are contemplating and will threaten suicide. We'll, these, we'll, we'll try as well. Yeah, and these are really dark subjects and we spend a lot of time both dealing with that but also preparing all our volunteers on on managing that emotion. So we talk, we do a lot of pastoral support and care. So before you go yeah. into what we do, well, obviously we're not professionals. We don't um, work professionally with people who are dealing with... Um, drug and alcohol misuse yeah. or suicidal thoughts um, and other things that might crop up. They're the, like the big ones that yeah. people would recognise, but there's, there's all sorts of other things that we deal with. Um, we're not professionals, so how do we cope with that? If somebody comes in, obviously that's a very intense um, situation and very, we have a huge responsibility to look after that person. Yeah. So what do we do as an organisation okay. to make sure that person's safe. So one of the things that's really helpful to do is that we provide support and advocacy. And I can think of one particular example of a carer um, who was being overwhelmed by the care that they were providing. And they had not been able to get through to an agency in, in the same way that we could. And that's not that the agency mm. didn't care, they do care. But the inability to perhaps explain the problem. Or was separate the issue. oneself yeah. from the problem. And so what we were able to do with a number of uh, folk who have been professionals within the, the mental health fraternity, for example, we were able to make those calls and get across the, the issue that was raised and support the, the, the care who was caring for an individual who was under mental health um, in, in a way that perhaps as, a, as, a, as somebody who uh, is just going through a very, very difficult time couldn't do. So it's working alongside One Recovery, um, the crisis team at St George's, um, the, the council or whoever it is, the police, the probation services. It's, it's getting to a place where we can support their clients or mm. their service users. Um, and it's about um, being the contact quite often. We are the people that the, the person in need makes contact with. And then we can work with the professional agencies. So it's about advocacy, advice, support. Um, people feel very comfortable to come into the cafe. So how do we deal with, because obviously if we're referring people to these professional yeah. organisations all the time, how do we differentiate between what is, because obviously all these situations are yeah. very, very serious, but what is an immediate concern, what is an immediate risk, when do we phone 999? Because obviously okay. if somebody walks through the door and we're <laughs> constantly phoning up the professional yes. services, they won't pick the phone up if they know it's yes. house of bread. So how do we... With responsi how do we work with these people with responsibility? Yeah. So if it's, it's like anybody who's watching this now, if you're experiencing a situation which is life and death, we phone 999. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes we are the people who phone in a situation that has got out of hand for whatever reason. Um, but, but 
sometimes it's it's quite difficult for people to go gosh i've actually got to make a 999 call i've actually got to speak to the ambulance i've got to speak who to who do i ask for who do i ask yeah. for um and so very often we are the the folk who've made that 99 call we ask for an ambulance and then the amazing thing about the services that we provide across the you know that are provided across the uk is that that person will stay on the line until the ambulance has arrived and reassure me that the patient mm. that they're dealing with is okay um and if you've not made that sort of call it can be very, very difficult, but it's incredibly reassuring so hearing if, that voice. So if, uh, for example, it's not a life-threatening situation and we call, say, a, the crisis team yeah. or we call the police um, for various reasons, yeah. that person is still with us at Cafe 43 yes. or somewhere that House of Bread's uh, doing something. How do we how do we do that again? I keep saying responsibly, but it's a huge <laughs> yeah. responsibility so we, if you think about yeah. it. So how do we keep that person safe while okay. they're waiting for some help? Yeah, so very often we'll ask the agency, what's the best way to manage this person? They may know them individually. They say, well, actually, the best thing to do is sit them in an office, give them a cup of coffee, and we'll be down in 5, 10, 15 minutes. And basically that's what we do. So we, we are building up that trust with that person. Quite often we are talking to the caseworker or the CPM or the police officer or the probation officer and we'll say, oh, so-and-so is coming down. I think you know them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, so this is how we're going to keep you safe. So it's about supporting them. There are always two of us in, in all cases. Um, but it's the it's the terms of the relationship with the the statutory provider, which is really key and, and something that House of Bread has really worked on well. So if it's your local PCSO that's, that's making the call or we've got somebody to make a referral, they'll know who their local PCSO is. So we'll often say, well, Helen's on her way or Emma's on her way. Um, so it's about keeping that person safe. The professional arrives, they then make the assessment. Um, and if needs be, it's, it's a hospital visit or, or it's, it's whatever the, the required fallout is. But I suppose for us, it's keeping that person uh, safe with the sandwich and the cup of coffee in a way that um, uniquely gets offered by House of Bread. You, you'd be surprised what a homemade cake can do uh, in that kind of situation. It calms people down. So we hope that's interesting. Um, we've never really spoken about that yeah. level um, of what we go into at House of Bread. But yeah, what we wanted to do was just bring you in just a little bit to help you understand that we present a very optimistic yes. side of House yep. of Bread, but it is a really challenging world and we are dealing with really, really serious things. If I can, Will, I, you know, I could say that we had last week at least three mentions of suicide that yep. we had to take very, very carefully. And these things are happening all yeah. the time. But we really want to make this place a really positive place. And it is because people who are suffering from those really really difficult challenges want to come here and that's absolutely fantastic yeah. that's all we can ask for as an organization to make it an approachable place um, so yes I hope that's been interesting thank yeah. you very much Will for navigating no and, ag that. and again if, if you're watching this and thinking I'm, I'm interested in, in knowing a bit more about it or maybe th questioning should I look into what it means to make a call then then google it find mm. out what you need to do uh, and, and be the person that makes a difference the worst thing to yeah. do is not do anything exactly Right, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this and want to uh, hear about the lighter side of House of Bread, all the events we've got going on for fundraising, what people are doing for us, then watch Hob News. That is on Sundays at four. But until then, we will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Bye.